It's our dirty little secret. Britain is one of the worst countries in Europe for littering, and it's getting worse. In general, people don't really care. They just, just throw things on the floor. I work in a school, so um, I see the kids doing it there as well. So, yeah, right. they don't really care. They just don't, they dump it anywhere. They drop anything and, and they dump down that alley, and it's disgusting. Well, I can do it. Nothing, you know. Sometimes you're scared to go, hey, take your litter or things like that. The government in England wants new fines to target the owners of vehicles, even if they're not the ones dropping the rubbish. Fines for fly tipping like this in Staffordshire have already gone up, but the issue which the government acknowledges is catching people in the act. Well, there's a number of strands. Um, you know, partly is enforcement, making sure that people who are caught, people who are found littering, are actually properly enforced against, which includes fines and, and other kind of community sentences and so on. From mattresses to chairs and even coffins, English councils reported more than 900,000 cases of fly tipping in 2015 and 16. It cost taxpayers almost £50 million to clear up, but just 0.2% of incidents have resulted in prosecutions. Anti-litter campaigner Peter Silverman says today's announcement by ministers is just talk. It is, quite frankly, a national disgrace. Um, and I get lots of correspondence from people who've been abroad uh, making unfavourable comparisons. Um, and it's getting worse. Thanks to the green shoots and growing grass of spring, this is the time of year our roadside rubbish is partially hidden. But Britain's dirty little secret is always there. Simon Viger, 5 News.